Back on Christmas Day 2019, I uploaded a video of what was then a world record take from the Diamond Casino of just over $5.5 million. We then beat this two weeks later with just under $6 million. That first video uploaded on Christmas Day two years later has over 1.3 million views. I never intended to become a YouTuber making money from videos. The whole point of this channel was just to keep a library of gaming things I thought were worth keeping. It was only when I could monetize it and started racking up big views and subscribers that I saw an opportunity. But back when I uploaded it, I was not able to monetize my content until I had a thousand subscribers and also getting over 4,000 hours a year of viewership, which is equivalent to having your videos viewed nearly 11 hours in total each day. It took me three months from Christmas Day to be able to monetize my content, and by then the video had around 150,000 views. After deleting some music for copyright reasons, I could then make money from that video. To this day, that one video has made me just over a thousand pound in revenue. But a video where we beat that record has just under a million views, and that has made over £1,300. Then came my How to Speed Run a Cape Rico Heist in 30 Minutes video. Since the 15th of March 2021, so nine months ago from the time of making this video, it has currently hit just over a million views, but has made me over 2,700 in revenue, nearly double that of my other videos. One reason why it's made more is because of the video length, meaning there is more space for ads to be displayed. Another reason is how ad-friendly the video is deemed to be. Trying to monetize a video where someone farts in a baby's face is going to be harder than making child-friendly videos, for example. The key stat here is the RPM, which basically means how much advertisers are paying for every thousand views on that video. The Kea Perico video pays £2.57 per thousand views, whereas the current world record video only pays £1.43, and the previous world record video only pays 80p per thousand views. The Kea Perico video took me an entire week to put together, doing so after I finished my real world job, but obviously the skills and knowledge up to that point was acquired over three months. The best thing about earning off YouTube is that these videos will continue making money possibly years down the line. So this time next year, the Kea Perico video may have made me £5,000 in that time and will have made even more the year after, just as long as it continues to get views. Putting the effort in now reaps rewards years into the future. The reasons I've not become a full-time YouTube creator is because the job I'm in now is very secure. I had no worries about losing my job during COVID lockdowns, whereas many people were being laid off, as I was still able to go into work and also set up computer learning for children who could not come into school. I work in a school teaching children with challenging behavior, by the way. Another reason is how time intensive editing videos is. Playing games and recording it is the easy part. Editing and writing a commentary, not so much, which is why many of the big YouTubers outsource video editing to others and pay them a fee. If you're thinking of becoming a YouTuber in any capacity, my advice is to work on making quality videos now and consistently. Get some good video editing software and learn the basics of editing. So I hope this sheds some light on how YouTube works. If you found it useful, please drop it a like and maybe consider subscribing for more. I'm Beats Down and I'll see you in the next one.